Sonic is a massive gaming icon. Like even so, people who don't play games know uh -huh. who Sonic is. Does that make you feel pressure to deliver? Because it's such a big thing. So it's yeah, since I've been with Sonic since Sonic 3, I've really been kind of working with Sonic and bringing all these uh, con uh, bringing all the games to life for all this time. So if we talk about pressure, I don't really feel pressure. It's really just something I've been working on creating and been with for so long. Uh, but as we're talking about, you know, making games for such a long time, something to always keep in mind is what would the fans like? What have they liked in the past? And, you know, what would maybe... Uh, what would they like in the future? It's something I'm always being aware of. You spent a lot of your life working on Sonic. Uh -huh. uh, how has Sonic changed you as a person? Oh, <laughs> changed me. So this ne, ano. So yes, when I joined Sega, I had only been living in Japan. I had never been abroad, lived abroad, or visited abroad. And I thought all of my life I'd just be living in Japan doing what I needed to do in Japan. Uh, but when I joined Sega, the first kind of Sonic game that I worked on was Sonic 3. Uh, and that's when I was sent over to America to make Sonic 3. Uh, and I'd never been out outside of Japan then, uh, but since going there, it's kind of meeting a lot of different people from different countries. Uh, these people have different ways of thinking about things. Uh, they have different languages that they're speaking. But one thing that was interesting was they were all enjoying the things that you know, we were making with Sonic. And so it really changed my mind uh, and made me aware of this larger global audience uh, that I probably wouldn't have had if I'd just always stayed in Japan and always just worked and made things for other Japanese people. Um, so in Sonic games, the music can be quite a big thing, yeah. like mm -hmm. makes it very memorable. Certain levels, like City Escape, the music on that, yeah. or even just Green Hill Zone. Um, how do you choose the music for the game? Ano, ba ilona title goto ni So it depends on every, uh, the title. Uh, it depends on the game that we're actually making. But it's always left up to the sound directors, and we have two really good sound directors that I trust, uh, Jun Senoue and Tomoya Otani. Both of these sound directors do a great job of understanding the game, understanding the, uh, what we're trying to do with the content, and then making music that really fits with that game. Uh, you know, they, they all understand the game, they understand music, they love the characters, they love the product, uh, and both of those sound directors are you know, great, great people to work with. And they always make really memorable music. What's been your favorite thing about making this new game? So it's getting to work with the director, uh, Kishimoto san. He was a director on uh, Lost World as well as Sonic Colors. Uh, getting to work with him was a lot of fun. You know, he brought this idea of making core Sonic gameplay in open space. That was kind of the, the original concept uh, that he brought to us. It's, it was a real evolution of the gameplay that we had been making at that time. Uh, and that new idea was very exciting uh, for myself and everyone on the team. But we also kind of understood this is gonna be a very challenging kind of project to work on. So, you know, what we're calling now is the open zone gameplay, but it was really born out of this really interesting idea and this challenge internally uh, to create something new and exciting. Uh, and that's really how it became this uh, really fun experience. And that's how Sonic Frontiers uh, really got created. So the recent Sonic movies have been pretty successful. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you think this will help bring in like a whole new generation of Sonic players? Do you, do you see that helping the game? Or do you see them as separate things? Yeah, more. Uh, so yeah, that's actually exactly how we see it. It's, um, you know, the movie has really brought more people into the games. It's really brought more attention to the character. Uh, you know, if we only, if we had to rely on only our historic fans, there, there wouldn't be this, like, building of excitement and energy because everyone would already know about it uh, and it'd just be, you know, what it always was. But this movie has brought so many more people into uh, the franchise that we really think it's going to be a positive thing for uh, for Sonic. Do you have a plan for 
future Sonic games, or are you just going to see how Frontiers goes and then go from there? あのー、まあ当然あのー、course, you know, the, who knows what the future holds? We can't really talk too much about it.、Uh, but、uh, the team always is, you know, trying to start new projects and new titles right away. So they're always working on something, but nothing we can talk about at this point yet. <laughs> Finally,、um, what's your favorite Sonic game? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> ね、They're all his children. How do you make him do this? <laughs> so, yes, he does like all the games that he's created.、Uh, you know, they all have some very important meaning、uh, to him. But if he had to choose one, Sonic Adventure 2 was probably the game that you know, was not only fun to make, like when they were developing it,、uh, but then when it was released, it also was very well received. So, That, that's kind of a, a unique title where it was not only fun to make, but also well received. I think a lot of people would agree.、Uh, <laughs> my favorite is Sonic Heroes. I used to Sonic Heroes? Sonic Heroes. Wow. Not、nice. many people might not say that, but that's my thank favorite. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.